What is the crack, lads? And welcome back to another video on eFootball 2023. Today, we are taking a look at Super Subs in eFootball 2023's Dream Team. And as you see here, Halland, the main man, the best Super Sub in the game at the moment, bar none, I would say. Absolutely incredible. We'll get to him later in the video. But I have left out featured players and I have just included players standard players that you can buy with gp at any time on the marketplace and as you see here lads right super subs are vitally important especially if you have a couple on your bench for the second half of a game if you're losing because it says here and it's defined in game as a super sub his his abilities are improved when introduced in the second half of the game so starting with uh ozuni who ozuni who is playing for granada in the second league of the spanish league this guy is an absolute monster. He's got super sub there as the player skills. He's also got fighting spirit and track back. Most of the players on this list will have unwavering form as well as a batch of other skills. Now we're going to train this guy up and all we want for our wing players or our strikers, the majority of the guys that I'm training up here for super subs. When you think about it, right, what do you want your super sub to do? You want him to be a game changer. You want him to come in off the bench if things aren't going right or if you're drawing one on, you need that little bit of spark up front. You need that bit of explosive pace. And as you see here for 7,500 GP, Ozuni is a perfect budget option for that. Next up, we have Poulsen, the Denmark international, the Danish guy who is a fantastic player in the game. Again, he's got track pack, track pack, track back and super sub in the player skills there as you see. He's also got really good stamina and I think the reason I included this guy, even though there are players with very similar stats to him and maybe outperform him, even though he does have unwavering form and he's only 32,000 GP, the best reason for this guy is that he is a utility player as well. He can pretty much play anywhere up front, which is vitally important when you are looking for a super sub and an immediate impact off the bench. So again, you can see what he trains up to here on eFootballDB.com. Next up, we have Ito or Ito, the Japanese international. There's two versions of him in the game. Uh, one on the national team and one playing with Stade Reims in League One, the French League, Division One. And again, this guy is unreal as well. He's got a load of levels to go up, 37 levels. And you can see, this is what we're talking about, right? He does have super sub. He does have unwavering form. So he's going to be up more often than not. Dribbling is at 80. His balance is at 87. But look at that acceleration. That is typifies exactly what you need for a super sub. And again, it's an unknown as well. If you see this guy coming in off the bench, you're not really preparing for him. Barrow, he is on A form this week. He does have super sub. He does have long range curler and chip shot control and long range shooting. I would probably be playing this guy as a left winger because his shooting stats and attributes are quite low. Or else if you are playing a two man strike force up front, this guy goes to insane levels. Now his shooting isn't the best. His finishing is only 67 because we have decided for 20,000 GP to have this guy as our backup center forward. That is just going to be a pace powerhouse that's what he's going to be 90 speed 93 acceleration and the dribbling is 82 perfect wing um beast to bring on as well if you are looking for that immediate impact and again not a huge name that you might actually be able to kind of surprise your opponent with including somebody like this next up we have got daka the lester man 23 years of age super sub fighting spirit first time shot rising shot everything that you could possibly need in a striker again i would possibly be playing this guy right wing or as part of a 4-3-3 and having a sub tactic. This guy goes to 99 acceleration, as you can see here, with 87 offensive awareness. His dribbling does suffer, so you are going to be using him as a run in a straight line. But the way that the game plays at the moment, lads, is that like you're either going to get past your opponent's defense or you're not, because the defending is super, super, super easy at the moment. I think Dak is just pure pace is definitely worth it, even if he does not have unwavering form. Now we're on to the big picks here, Kiesa who is Juventus's right winger. I think this guy could lay a claim for being one of the better players in the game, let alone one of the best super subs. I think he's only beat out by Haaland. 24 years of age, look what he trains up to. But this guy is more of a kind of a finesse player that if you are bringing him on to replace your starting, um, your strong starting players, such as your Neymar, such as your Messi, and you're not you know, you don't have to worry about the lack of quality or the drop off in all, all the skills that you would possibly need. Dribbling is unreal. Acceleration is unreal. His balance and stamina is really good. Now, obviously, all these players will need to be trained up play style proficiency wise as well. So you will have to take a little hit on the, on the stats, but not by much, literally just by one or two. Um, but again, bringing him in off the bench 
will be absolutely really beneficial to you guys, especially if you pair him with Haaland. So as we see here with Haaland, lads, he is probably the ultimate super sub. Now, I know that there is a version of Lewandowski out there that has super sub as well and a couple of feature players, but I wanted to leave all these guys as just standard players that you can watch this video whenever and that it's not out of date. There is various versions of Haaland as well that are probably better than the standard version, but this is what you're getting with the standard version, lads, and there's a couple of clips at the start of the video and a couple of clips at the end of the video to show you just how good this Haaland is. I think Haaland at the moment has gone from probably a top 15 player in the game in eFootball 22 to, I would say, probably top 5 in eFootball 2023. I think the way the gameplay has gone at the moment, that it's gone very simplified in terms of run and gun and quick passes, 3, 4, 5 passes quick, and then in on goal, if you can get in on goal, Haaland is the main man for that because he doesn't have electrifying pace, right? But he does have unbelievable offensive awareness, probably one of the highest in the games. You can get that a little bit higher as well if you want to take down his speed or his shooting. But his kick and power, his jump, his physical contact, everything like that is fantastic. And as you see there, that 95 offensive awareness, he's going to be making runs all over the pitch. I think Haaland is one of the best players to train up. I think he's one of the best players in the game. I would say he's entered, in my opinion, definitely the top seven, if not the top five of the players in Dream Team, along with Neymar and a couple of those boys that I would definitely recommend. But I will be doing the top seven quite soon or top 10 in the game, in my opinion, and ask a couple of content creators to get involved with that as well. But he's just an immediate impact, lads, no matter where you play him. This guy is good enough not even to come on as a super sub. But when you do bring him on as a super sub, as the game does define, you do, you do get that little bit of a boost. And as you see here, we bring him on in the second half. And I think he scored like three goals in the second half when you bring him on. It doesn't matter if you're winning or losing. Obviously, um, you will probably see a bigger impact if you are losing. But this guy is just the real deal, lads, as he is doing it for City at the moment. He can finish anywhere on the pitch. He's got the pace. He's got the power. He's got the strength. And even though he doesn't have like 92, 93 acceleration or speed... He doesn't really need it because of his offensive awareness. Watch the run he makes here. He's straight in and then the finish is boom in the back of the net. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of super subs. It seems to be still that a lot of people are kind of sleeping on the super sub player skill. I think it's vitally important. Now I am going to be bringing another video for the defensive sided uh, player, the defensive minded player that is looking to improve their defensive side of the game. Because I, th I still think that genuinely lads, I think that the that the uh, defensive side of the game is possibly the best or probably the you know the easiest it's ever been like ever I would say I would say it's even back to you know Pez 2021 back with like data pack four or five when it was literally super 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 easy to to dominate your opponent defensively and get dominated as well and then it's that little bit of magic or a little bit of luck that gets you uh, an opening unless you're a beast at the, at, at the game but that is it for Super Subs, lads. I'll be back quite soon with a defensive video that a lot of you guys have been asking for. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe. Peace.